What is up, bros? This is a Bruminade returning to the World War II mod for your B-War 4. Throwing down some more WTO campaign. We are ready for British. Why, you know what? We only got two missions left. What the hell am I going to do next? We did NATO. This is WTO. We did Axis. Uh, I'm already doing Italy in the World War One mod. That leaves us with allies and Eastern Front. That is if I do continue to play this. I don't know, maybe I'll end it with the WTO. Anyways, we are ready for British Storm. The whole of Europe is left without Britain being destroyed by us. The General Secretary has ordered the last crossing of the English Channel, the liberation of the British people, the eradication of Europe's last Capitalist Fortress, 26 rounds for the great victory. Commander, the whole of Europe, only the United Kingdom has not been eliminated. General Secretary has ordered the attack on the United Kingdom. So, we've got a nuke to take out. Uh, this is one of the missions where you got to take out all enemy units. They got a decent uh, air force. So, I've just got done losing this twice. Um, I don't know. I got a new general, though. Timon Shinko. Let's throw down Zhukov. And let's throw down Papa here. So, it's a lot harder than it looks. It's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I shouldn't say I lost. I just realized I wasn't going to be able to beat it. In the amount of time to get the perfect victory and so I just restarted it but anyways it's a lot harder than it looks and I had missed I'd missed one key point when I looked at this the first time I was just like oh I wish it was better I wish it was bigger I wish it was harder um, that's what she said <laughs> um, so they have the nuke but I don't have any way to build missiles so that is the big problem here. I can't build missiles. I'm never going to use all this food, so we'll exchange some. Um, so I've got a different plan. This is what I was doing, building subs. That part of the plan I'm going to keep doing. The second part of the plan, which I wasn't doing, and I'm going to do now, is I'm going to take Papa Stalin and I'm going to send him up to Edinburgh. Because there is a facility up there where I could possibly take it and build missiles and take out their nuke. So I did realize the key to, um, you know, making the nuke not hit my good equipment or my good generals. As long as you're building subs, it will keep nuking them. Um, and, and if you're putting like crapper units on the cities, it will also nuke them most of the time too. So yeah, we're just gonna, nobody's gonna see him. He's just gonna sneak off to the north. Nobody's gonna know where he goes. Nobody's paying attention to Papa Stalin. Nobody knows he's there. Oh, and something new I'm going to try too. I'm going to take Zhukov and send him as far west as I can. To try to take out... Because that aircraft carrier comes in. I want to be able to take the aircraft carrier out. And I can't get to it because... I think it's their air force probably wrecks my subs that are moving. And then the nuke wrecks my subs that I build while they're in. While they're in the dock. So I will clear out this ship before I throw Papa Stalin to the wolves. To their wolf pack. Their surface wolf pack.
The only problem is Stalin's slow as shit. Well, actually anything. Land is pretty slow as shit on... ...on the water in this mod. I can't even remember if that was the way it was in the vanilla version or not. They get like two places of movement. So it's going to take Papa Stalin half the game to get up to Edinburgh. Alright. And he's off. Set sail. The only thing I'm worried about is taking the um, artillery sight and then the nuke just constantly hitting my missiles before I even use them. And I, um, I probably want to take out their air force if I can. Because I'm, I'm almost positive the Air Force will hit the missile. I'm telling you, I looked at this, I thought it was... Yeah, my sub got nuked. I thought it was going to be so easy. I was so disappointed. I was like, oh my god, this is going to be... Wow, so much fun. But then it did turn out to be a challenge. Nice, okay. Well, Zhukov's gone. Um, so that part of the plan did work. I wanted to get the aircraft carry out of there. So far, so good. I'm just expecting in between rounds to see Pupstan get nuked. Which completely ruins this, this whole playthrough. I'm going to try. I don't... If I can... Keep the subs up. Maybe. No, nope, it got nuked. I thought maybe if I had two subs in the naval yard, like they, it, the nuke wouldn't hit my super heavy. But nah. Uh, I guess I could spam. I might start spamming infantry. Send them out in front of my good troops when I actually try to land. Because until I take out the nuke, I'm not going to be able to put down a heavy or a super heavy. Because I'm pretty sure that's just going to just keep getting nuked. So we will just spam infantry. Slow ass Papa Stalin. Try some fast movers. Let's get some mechanized up. Until I run low on industrial, then I'll switch over to something else. So far, the plans have worked perfectly. Ah, uh, maybe not. He got nuked.
Well, that pretty much takes care of their navy besides... A sub and a destroyer that I'm not too worried about. I'm feeling good so far. I just need to take out their air force. Good guy stall on the land. I'm just gonna spam a massive infantry landing force. Much like in World War Two, I'm just going to overwhelm the enemy with numbers. So we'll get a couple waves of infantry going out, and then behind them are good troops. Or I should say, my two generals. Since they killed Zhukov. Can't believe they did that. Was the Super Bowl not the most boring piece of crap I've ever seen? Oh, let me answer that. Yes. Yes, it was. That first half dough was so boring. Although, and this is strange, I can't remember the last time I sat down and actually watched a whole Super Bowl, but I actually watched that whole Super Bowl. And it was like the crappiest one. Or was it? Because I did sit and watch it. See, I, I'm confused. I don't know. I don't know what happened. All the good ones I, did, I watched like 15 minutes of. And I see the voting for the most feared bicycle army. Uh... Last time I looked, the U.S. was up by nine, I think. Over Finland. I was hoping that they would move their planes closer to the coast, but really, why would they? They can reach anywhere. It's kind of a stupid thing to think. I feel like Paulus should just surrender. All right, next round, hopefully. Hopefully. There you... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How does he not have that... And look, I, I've... I don't know if he came that way or if I had upgraded him, but he has full movement. So I don't know why he's such shit. I guess, since we have some landings, 
Well, at least get our generals at sea. I don't think they'll get nuked. Famous last words. When I get that nuke down, I think what I will do is I'll start making some aircraft carriers. Come on, you've got to one-shot this, and he did. Nice. Okay, so it's nice we got that, but if they just nuke my missiles or shoot them with the Air Force, then, I mean, what I just did pretty much is... Nothing. Although I can bring Stalin down from the north, start wrecking Monty. There we go. We are now down to one aircraft. See, I'm feeling pretty good about this as far as winning it, but I, I feel it's going to be close. Seems like all these have been close. The days of blowing it out like five rounds, seven rounds early. Then like the the max for the perfect victory. That's long gone. Well, he survived. They didn't nuke him off Glasgow. Well, we'll see what happens. All I can say is I'm so sick of that nuke. There we go. All right, so now... Now the only thing that can hit that is the nuke. I think we got enough distractions, though. Keep some subs. Like a decoy. Some infantry has some decoys. For the nuke. Yeah, look at this. You know you want to nuke Paris again. Nice, sexy Soviet infantry man on Paris. You know you want to nuke it. He did. What an idiot. That's game. Later. Now I can build whatever I want. I built some aircraft carriers if I want, some some heavy, some super heavies. I can do what I want.
keep up the landings. Who knows? Money might be a complete pain in the ass. But, we do have Papa Stalin coming down from the north, so we probably don't got to worry about money too much. Plus, we can build tanks. On English soil now. Well, I guess that officially puts their navy down. They can't build nothing now. Oh, they do have one more port, don't they? Oh, lose a general. another general uh, I can probably stop doing this I would imagine There we go. Grab a armored car. Head over to Ireland. I guess I'm going aircraft carrier. All right, Papa. I don't know. I don't understand what's going on with Papa. He's usually better than this. I'm not getting any one shots out of him. Unless something's already half dead, then he can one shot it. Massive five damage. Round 18, bros. Do we have enough time?
We're gonna be cutting it close. We need, some, we need paratroop units. He's down to half. Throw down another carrier. Throw down another carrier. Torpedo. It's the difference maker. Oh, Monty's dead. Boom! Papa Stalin finishes off Monty. And we might have London. Yep. Boom! London falls, bro. UK's getting a lot more red. Just freaking took a crap on 21 Savage's house. Alright, so it is basically a race against time to get to Ireland. I feel like we've got what we need to take out all the units. That's not going to be a problem. It's just getting there. In time. Six rounds to do it. One damage. So powerful. All right, well, we've got Dublin. I was thinking maybe they might not have any money to put down fresh units, but I was wrong. Boom! And then there was but one. I think we got this, bros. Next round. UK becomes very much red for Valentine's Day. Boom! Commander! Perfect! 
Victory! Thank you for those 50 medals. That was a lot harder than I had anticipated. Took a lot more time than I had anticipated. I do have enough to buy another general now, though. Invasion of North America. It's time to strike USA again. We got information that the Americans have already started the ultimate weapon that Dr. Einstein has created for them, the time machine, in an attempt to change the fate of their failures. Commander, you have to stop them. 60 rounds? Damn. Your Excellency, Commander, you are only a lower traverser. You're, you joined the Soviet Union, but you are only a tool in the hands of the Soviet Union. Even if the Soviet Union won the war, you will be just a complete worthless piece of crap sent to the gulag. Stalin doesn't give a crap about you. You might as well just walk yourself to the gulag. I don't believe all that, what he just said, but this is a massive, massive undertaking. I see why it was 60 rounds. Anyways, bros, this will be a good ending. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And also back here for our next upload. Peace. Brumanati out. Ooh.